You're here in Timmy Nolan's with me in Toluca Lake, one of the best Irish pubs in Los Angeles. No thanks to me, your Irish bartender. Uh, born and raised in Ireland, I've been in the United States for 20 years, but my bartending career started in Ireland where I apprenticed in bartending, not something that happens in the US. Um, I'm here to talk about Guinness, something that takes two years to learn how to pour correctly in Ireland. You get certified, I'm certifiable by Guinness. And I'm here to show everybody how to pour the correct pint. There's nothing worse than going into a pub and getting a pint of Guinness in a 16 ounce straight pint glass with no head. It's not good. We like our head, so let's give Guinness some good head. Okay, so start with our glass. We have a tulip shaped glass. The reason why we have this glass is so when you're pouring it correctly, the cascading effect of all of those lovely nitrogen bubbles create that creamy, yummy goodness that we know is Guinness. So step one, let's pour. You always want to make sure that you are pouring on an angle. A really great point on the glass is this harp. This is where we're going to actually pour to and then we're going to stop our pour for two minutes. So we'll pour and we stop, set it aside, two minutes. Not many people know what to do with two minutes. I want people to get the best pint and you can get your best pint from me, but not on St. Patrick's Day. One, I'm not gonna be here. Two, we serve our Guinness in plastic cups, which is absolutely sacrilegious. You'll see that it's starting to look nice and dark and there's this beautiful, creamy, creamy head on top. Now the goal is to keep this head. You wanna lift the head, that's what it's called. When you take this head, and you bring it all the way to the brim. And you're going to actually cascade slightly over that brim and create a mound. Now, in order to do that, you're gonna push back on the handle. You're not gonna pull forward, you're gonna push back. This actually slows down the rate in which the Guinness is going to be poured into the glass, allowing you to control that lift of the head. So, you take your glass, you bring it a couple of inches underneath that tap and you start pushing back. Lifting that head all the way up and you're gonna put that pint back down again. Right now, it's finishing up. I like to call it like a little gelatinous effect that happens. The head itself is going to start mounding off and it's gonna seal around the edges. So when you pick up that pint, it's not going to spill. It will take a nice little glide over the top of that glass. But again, it's finishing doing its thing. You gotta let it sit, you gotta let it wait. If your customer is harassing you, wanting their pint of Guinness, tell them to fucking wait. Respect the man who created this pint over 250 years ago and respect your bartender who was pouring it correctly for you. So let's take another look. You'll see this head has started to change. It's got this nice gelatinous top to it. It's not spilling, it's just hovering on top. That is your perfect pint. Lovely mound, nothing like it. And then you gotta teach your customer how to drink it. <laughs> as it gets taken to be drunk. Enjoy.